Hi everybody, it's Kara, and I thought I would do a very quick video and show you how I decorated my pages for my diary pages for next week. This isn't something that I typically do, but I did things just a little bit differently than what I had shown you guys in previous videos, so I thought I'd give you just a quick look in case you guys were looking for something simple and easy to do to your um, planner pages. So if you remember in previous videos, I showed you guys that I typically have kept my decorations pretty simple. I use a little bit of washi here and there, different kind of designs. I don't do a ton. I don't use a lot of sticky notes, and typically the ones I do use I dispose of once they don't apply anymore. But this week, or I guess I should say next week, I decided to kind of change things up. I had a new stamp set I wanted to try, and I thought I would give that a whirl. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can see parts of it. As you can see, it's a snowflake set. You can see it kind of in different little places. And I just kind of randomly stamped all over the pages in some very light ink, which I'll show you in a minute. And I'm just zooming like this so you can kind of see how it looks. You do see a little bit of it from the back, but to me it's not too bad. And you can see that I just wrote right over it wherever it was in, you know, an area where I would write. And then here are some more that I did. I went ahead and did a couple weeks. And you can see I just kind of randomly stamped all over the place. And did that with the snowflakes. So that's what it looks like. I did use some very light colors, but like I said, you can see I just went ahead and wrote right over it. So I'd already done the lines that I like, but I then, before I wrote anything else, did all of the stamping, you know, and I stamped off some of the sides, you can kind of see it like that, and then went through and filled in the things that I wanted to have in there for the next week, like our schedules and all of that good stuff. So. In case you're interested, the stamps that I use is one of the ones I picked up and did a haul video about from W Plus 9. This is Folk Art Flurries, and it's really cute. And you can see, if I get a little closer on some of these, let me show you. The images are great. They stamped really, really nicely. And you can also build... Um, some snowflakes like this one right here. Zoom in for that one too. That's actually four different stamps. This blue part is one stamp. These little green almost seed looking things are one stamp. The pink is another stamp and then that green is another stamp. So you can build them all together and you can see that here's the blue part, the little green part, the pink inside part, and then, I can't remember, I think it's this one that I used for the inside of that pink center. Oh, actually, it's this one. So anyway, I did that, and then the ink that I used on this are my Memento Dew Drops. And I just picked three of the light colors that I have. So New Sprout, Summer Sky, and Angel Pink. I don't use really dark ink on this paper, which is not the Filofax paper I've talked to you guys before about where I get my inserts. But it's still, you know, relatively thin paper, so I don't want to use too much dark ink because there will be a lot of kind of, not necessarily bleed through, but you'll see it quite a bit, shadowing, that kind of thing. And then, of course, for these right here, my little check boxes, I use the Tuxedo Black. So there's just a quick and easy way that you could play around with decorating your Final Effects pages by using some of the stamps you already have, your crafters. Or you can go and, you know, use it as an excuse to buy yourself some new ones. So I hope that helped give you some ideas for another way to very quickly and easily decorate your file effects pages. And as always, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask them down below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you're having a great day where you're at. Bye.